Hey guys, so this quick video will show you exactly how to create um, a graphic in Canva from, from scratch. So once you have created your, I'm going to skip the part obviously how to create the account. Uh, you have your account which you can log in simultaneously on both your mobile and uh, web app. Create a design, then you can either pick one like Facebook post, Facebook cover which will have the right dimensions or you can for instance type in in a search button so I will type in banner and you can see uh, block banner, tablet banner, it doesn't matter if it doesn't necessarily exactly fit what you're looking for like email or something but let's say block banner right then we're gonna go to these are the templates which I don't necessarily want to use I have my page anything that you upload via your mobile uh, app it will appear here as well so if I go to uploads uh, I have a couple of different graphics so let's say if I want to create uh, uh, a banner that will for the smoke free campaign which I'm currently working on so if I for instance start with uh, graphics so elements you got different elements so you can create like you can add an, like uh, either grids or you can put like a Halloween stuff or you can see all in order to see all sorts of different uh, emojis or whatever you call them like different type of images and uh, graphics you can also use uh, where is it charts frames stickers shapes shapes is the quiet most useful one if you want to create lots of different effects or mask something um, so basically here you can create different shapes but let me just pick a normal simple rectangular shape then you can basically drag it in order to fit it to your banner uh, again if the banner needs to be smaller that's fine we can rescale it we can then once it's created we can make it smaller we can squeeze it etc so if I do this and then if I add let's say if I go to my uploads obviously I need to change this color to a different color <laughs> if that makes sense so if I click back on the shape and click on the color here you don't have the option same as you have on your phone um, let me see oh no maybe you do actually copy style let's see if this is the one um, no it doesn't do it okay so now I'm gonna show you how am I gonna overcome this so let me just connect to my um, phone so I can show you what I'm going to do on the phone. So what is happening here, if I just go back home, so then I go to, let's see, bear with me, screen mirroring, okay, come on. Oh, come on, it's not picking up. Bear with me. Don't know why is it not showing. Come on. Right, for some reason it doesn't want to do it. So base... Oh, Canva. Two seconds. Oh, I might need to restart of showing. Anyway, um, again, let's see if it's going to work this time. No, it's not. Okay, so I'm going to restart the phone in the meantime while I will show you something else. So if I just go back, so if you go to all your designs, so you can go back to any designs that you did. Um, you can also, I don't know if you, when you hover over, you have the three dots. So when you click on it, you can make a copy so not to mess up your design, but you can amend. Uh, you can move to folder, you can download it, get shareable link, etc, etc. So if I just click on it. Oh, 
Okay. Now, what I want to do is actually not that graphic. Let me just get rid of it. Uploads. So let's say I want to create a banner from a poster. So if I just click, uh, select the poster and enlarge it to fit my screen. Actually, if I double click on it, let me see. Oh, it doesn't do it. Okay. I think I make it too big so I cannot actually cut it. Okay. So when you drag and drop, cl click on it twice. Okay. So then when you actually dragging it, it will cut the graphic itself rather than just resize it. So if I just cut it to suit my screen, okay, to cut it to exactly what I want to use. Okay, click outside. Then let me just rescale it to the size I want. Okay. Then for instance, I want, let's see if my phone has restarted. If now it's gonna work. Okay, let's see this time. What is happening? My screen mirroring is not working exactly. Hmm. Okay. Well, on the phone, when you open the app on the phone, you basically are able to select the shape. You then go into the color and it will have like a pink color, sort of like a little pipette. I don't know if I can find it here. No, that's just copy style. Mm. Well, let's create that for now. Anyway, so let's say if I want to add now the logo or something else, um, then what I can do if I don't have the original file, although I believe you can, if you're working with other people, you can basically ask them to send you the right logo, okay. Then you can basically drag and drop it. Obviously, you can create different background for it to drop the picture on it, yada, yada, yada. So when you have the individual images, so the hashtag or the picture, you can also add the text, so text. Um, let's say, this is just a size, so you can always change the size later. So if we say here, what did we have? Um, bear with me. A fire at one end and full at the other. A fire at one end and full on the other. Uh, when you go to text here, you can actually type in, let's see, B. My God, this works super slow, but there we go. Um, let me see. The one that is used, pop, uh, that is very popular for marketers, for any sort of social media, is the one that is actually showing a capital fonts, but at the same time, it's kind of squished, so you can fit a lot, a long message, and you don't really use much space, but it's still quite easily readable. So, okay, and full on the other. Okay, let's see. Something like that. Then you can, for instance, also use elements. Let me see if I can connect to the bloody screen mirroring again. Okay, so if I go back to the shapes and for instance, I can change the shape that do this, this, 
and I can change the color of it. Let's say this is just an example. Okay, my phone is not connecting to my. All right, I know why. Okay, so basically you have this, you can also make a position backward, forward, etc. Top, middle, bottom, whatever, what have you, whatever you need. You can also do when you select it or whatever element you select, you can change this transparency. Okay, so that is quite useful. So if we do that, that, yada, yada, yada. So you can create all sorts of different things. Um, what else? Uh, uploads, folders. So whatever you use in here and whatever you create here, you automatically have it visible on your mobile app. There we go. Finally, I have connected. Okay, now you can see my phone. So if I go to Canva on my phone, So this is actually real life, what I'm doing on my phone. Uh, I am connected to the same account. So I can create a new design in here, or I can go to this, which will show my designs. And if I now click at the top, you can see the previous design. Okay, so let me just get out from this. I don't know if this is the latest. No, there we go. This is the latest. So when I click on it, you can see exactly what I have on the main screen. So now what I was saying is like when you click on the blue, I'm clicking on the blue in here on my phone. When I select it, you can see a colors to add the color to that shape. So if I just delete that previous uh, shape. So I'm clicking on the back on the blue background here, which I added the shape previously. Then I'm clicking on this little pipette and then you have that kind of circle as you as I was mentioning so you can literally drag you you holding it as you're dragging over the picture and you can see that I'm kind of hovering over the animation to match the graphic okay so that way is the fastest way to add and match the color which you don't have on the web app but you can work in between the mobile app and the web app which is super useful. So now when I click on this, ooh, click on this to sort of minimize it, enlarge it, etc. Um, okay. Done. Done. Okay. With when you're pinching the photo with your fingers, it kind of uh, what it does is actually enlarges it within the screen as well for you. So done. Okay. So if I come out from it, and now I'm gonna get out from that. Let's close my phone at the moment. If I go back, and then I will go to all my designs again. I just close the previous ones. All my designs, I'll go to this one. Okay, so you have the same what I had on the screen. Obviously, it's not perfect, it's just for the purposes of showing the video. So if I double click on it again, I can crop it to fit my size. Okay, you get the picture. So you can put like extra logos. So uh, what we were need, what we did need is the university. So Cardiff Foreign logo. For instance, if I just go there, um, I believe we used something like that. So let me save it. Cardiff Uni logo, Cardiff Uni, Cardiff Met, Met logo, on desktop, safe, okay, 
and then if I will upload and then let me just drag to my um, bear with me I believe I just, just close that off okay now if I drag and drop it to that section here which I just kind of hidden okay that is now uploading you can see the bar it has uploaded when you click on it the picture is being added double click obviously i cannot cut out the background from it because it's obviously is a free app you can do much more in the pro version but there is no need for it you can then resize it or you can add it on top whatever you want to do so just First of all, is uh, when you're creating your images, it's important to first get the layout so you know where everything is, where everything fits, if it's better to do it lower, higher, etc. Once you have that, you have general concept to discuss it with your with your group, etc. Then you can, after agreeing on the layout and on the colors, you can then basically work on the final version of it. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions in a comment. And I will speak to you soon, guys. Bye.